Hi, Mayan. Hi, welcome to our booth. Thank you. Lovely to be here. So, I know a lot about Tikkun Olam already, but please tell for our viewers a little bit about Tikkun Olam. Well, Tikkun Olam is the first and leading company in Israel and globally. We breed our own strains, we cultivate them, we then manufacture our products, we deliver them to our dispensary or directly to our patients, and we have a leading, I think it's the only nurses clinic in the world where we provide personalized treatment to patients, and we're very proud of this achievement because our nurses and our pediatric nurses can provide one-on-one -on -one informative and educational consulting mm -hmm. and it's very uh, imperative in, um, in the treatment of medical cannabis to find the right strain and the right dose uh, to set goals and to uh, meet those goals at the end of the treatment. Israel is one of the leaders in cannabis research and they've certainly got the, the, the biggest amount of data on the subject from actually testing with real humans and, and real patients and you guys are, are one of the leaders in that area and making a lot of headway here in Israel and internationally. We have the largest accumulated patient data in the world and from this data we can derive a lot of information and decide what clinical trials we want to conduct. And I think this is essential in the awareness and advocacy for medical cannabis use in Israel, but globally as well. We're very proud of that, and we're seeing incredible results. And I have to say that, you know, there's a lot of criticism about the Israeli government, maybe about exporting and so on, but they have allowed us to conduct clinical trials from the beginning. And this is almost a decade of our clinical research, so we're very proud of that. The idea is to publish this work, and then, you know, physicians can change their idea and the way that they perceive medical cannabis use. And we hope that we're providing enough tools to change you know, the image and the stigma that they have because we know that it, it works. We see it in our clinic, we see it every day, and we think that um, you know, more patients should have access to this treatment. I think it's all data, 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 and effectively when you flourish them with so much data, there's not going to be much that they can do with it. You know, you can't argue with statistics, you can't argue with facts, and yeah. I think that's really about the, the great work that you're doing. So what's, what's the idea about today? I mean, a lot of people know about Tick and Alarm. Are you still spreading the word, or is it making partnerships today? Well, we are. Um, we're, we're here to, you know, show as well uh, who we are, and obviously we're very fond of uh, ICANN and Canatech, and we've been involved from the beginning, so I think it's a wonderful platform to get kind of the world awareness. Tikkun Olam is actually a global company because we have already established uh, a partnership in Canada with mm -hmm. Medrelief, mm -hmm. and they're worth almost two billion. Wow. Um, and they're providing some of our proprietary strains and knowledge. Uh, in the US, we're going state by state. Uh, so we have a collaboration called Tikkun USA. Our latest one was in Australia, far away. Um, but we feel that it's, you know, our shlichut, it's our, uh, it's our mission, first of all, uh, to spread, you know, Israeli technology mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. share the Tikkun Olam concept. And Tikkun Olam means, you know, trying to repair and heal the world. You took the words out of my mouth because my next sentence was going to be say <laughs> that Tikkun Olam actually means in Hebrew that you should repair and fix the world. So Tzachi Cohen is the founder of Tikkun Olam and he comes from a small village and his whole family are part of this business and they invested their lives. And yeah, I actually met him eight years ago and I started as a volunteer uh, because I heard that there was this one crazy guy helping uh, because I heard and his mother was growing the plants in her house and you know, he was providing it in his house and we were consulting patients and it was all very initial and then suddenly in 2010 the regulation chain there was a set price and more companies so you know i think i think we all have to be thankful for his vision because he you know he saw what was going to become of this industry already in the beginning absolutely and i think we all have to be more compassionate to patients around the world and in israel